It's the Subway NFL post-game show. And Chicago, with nine seconds left, gets a Brian Greasy touchdown to Moose and Muhammad to go in front of the Eagles 19-16 and win in Philadelphia. First time in five games that Chicago has beaten Donovan McNabb. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horace alongside NFL.com's Pat Kerwin and CBS Sports' Charlie Casserly. And guys, we'll start with this drive on the three-yard line, their own three-yard line, no timeouts, 97 yards. They had a minute 53. They did it in a minute 44. Wouldn't have happened with Rex Grossman. They had some explosive plays and Brian Greasy, the improbable drive and the comeback. And I don't want to say it saved their season, but it gives them a little bit of a spark plug here. Well, I'll say it saved their season. How about that? So, <laughs> yeah. hey, what did you see at the end? You saw a veteran quarterback who knew how to manage the clock. They got the wide receivers involved. Hester made a couple of big plays for him in the drive. The other thing, the Eagle pass rush didn't get there with Brian Greasy. Uh, amazing drive. And the Eagles, the, the offense... For Philadelphia, again, in this ballgame, Pat, we talked about this in the previews this week, but including today's game, if you take out the win over Detroit, they have three touchdowns in five games. Yeah, you look at them and you wonder why, because they look like they have the ingredients. they got a veteran quarterback whose mobility looks like it's coming back, big offensive line. Um, but when you look at the receivers and the, and the ability to make plays down the field, there's not a lot of guys. It's Brian Westbrook show. It's a lot of dink and dunk to Brian. Um, you know, from the Bear, when I look at it from the Bears' perspective, I would be a little alarmed about the Bears if they were my team because they still struggle to stop the run. The Eagles today, although it's a finesse running game, they almost averaged five yards a carry. Uh, but they were better. The, the Bears' defense were better. Charlie, you said they were challenged, and they answered the challenge. Yeah, they, they played much harder and with much more intensity uh, today. Westbrook's a good back, one of the best backs in the league. Uh, but uh, I, I thought Tommy Harris stepped up and played much better today than he's playing so give some credit to the Bears here. Uh, let's talk about the one thing that the Eagles did do well in this game uh, until the end, and that was the fact that they didn't let Devin Hester touch the ball on returns. <laughs> they got not Shannon, once. They got Shannon Sharp's note. <laughs> You're not allowed to kick the Hester you can't, anymore. I mean, the, the man should not touch the ball on returns. Now, they, they made a big deal in the broadcast about the fact that uh, it, it really helped the Bears in field goal or in uh, field uh, positioning as far as where they started, their average field positioning. But that, that didn't affect – I mean, it, it, that's what having Devin Hester does for you. Now, we've talked about you need to get him involved in offense. Showed up in the last two drives. And you, yeah, he last did. Drive. And, and, you know, this is something uh, – when I went there in the spring to visit him, they said, hey, we've got to get him involved in the offense. Where, where, where we'll be better on offense is we'll have him, we'll have Olsen at tight end, uh, and uh, we'll get Garrett Wolf involved. Well, you haven't seen Garrett Wolf involved to a great degree. Olsen, a lot more involved last couple of weeks. And Devin Hester. Hester is kind of a guy that's got speed. He's got athletic ability to get open. He's got good enough hands. Can't do a lot in the passing game yet because of inexperience, but you can pick your spots with them, and they did today. You know, and I, I have to say this about the Eagles. This is a team that they're a fire zone pressure. They want to go after the quarterback. They got 40 chances today. When you look at how many plays were called as pass plays, they get to the quarterback one time. That's not enough for the way they no. want to play defense for Jim Johnson. No, and Brian Greasy had time to throw right. for a good amount of t uh, portion of this ball game, and it's the reason he led them on a 97-yard drive. And as Charlie said, save their season. I think they still would have made the playoffs anyway. But they're three and four. The Eagles are two and four. Opposite directions here because Philadelphia has got to regroup. They, that's a tough loss Back to handle. Backbreaker for the loss. Yeah, that is a very, loss. very tough loss to handle. Folks, for more on this one or any other in Week 7, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For Pat Kerwin and Charlie Castle, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.